Gentleman's recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm uh, proud to support uh, this very solid energy and water uh, development and related agencies Appropriations Act of 2025. It's a good bill. Uh, it's going to secure our nuclear triad. It's going to protect our domestic energy supplies, and it's going to pressure this uh, Biden administration to refill our strategic petroleum reserves. And I want to thank uh, Chairman Cole and especially Chairman Fleischman, as well as uh, the committee staff for their hard work on this bill uh, and uh, pulling this forward to the floor. I'm particularly uh, satisfied that this legislation includes my provision to block a rule that was established by the Department of Energy to actually weaken environmental oversight for battery elect uh, electric storage systems, or BESS facilities, or BESS facilities. These BESS sites are essentially giant lithium batteries lined up side by side and stacked on top of each other in many cases and connected to the larger power grid. And they're not necessarily, Mr. Speaker, bad things. But while energy storage systems are essential for a modern power grid, especially in areas like in my district in Southern California where we have high winds and high fire risks and high loads, they, they also, these BESS facilities, could potentially pose dangers for communities if not properly planned, if not properly engineered and constructed, and if put in locations that pose significant harm to our communities and our environment. In a recent hearing, the San Bernardino County Fire Chief testified that if these, these best sites are not perfectly constructed, they can actually create fires that are, are extremely and almost impossible to extinguish. My uh, provision simply says that the Department of Energy needs to stop trying to cut corners and to do the homework before installing these energy storage, uh, storage systems in our communities. Let me be clear, this isn't an anti-storage uh, provision. It's a provision to ensure that, the, that the, the communities have a voice and that the government isn't running with scissors during the development of these facilities. And I can tell you in LA County, they've made some very bad choices recently when it comes to these best facilities. You don't have to look any further than the, uh, the community of Acton, right in the middle of my district, to understand the risks associated uh, with rushing these energy storage projects. Acton is a small community, Mr. Speaker, right in the middle of the Los Angeles, uh, Angeles forest where LA County is, is forcing effectively this best facility be, to be constructed. And let me paint the picture of where this location is at. They, in their infinite wisdom, LA County decided to put this best facility smack dab on top of the most active part of the San Andreas Fault. It's right in the middle of some of the most combustible wildlands and poses a significant wildfire risk. Within a par five of this location, there's a large electrical substation that would be basically uh, knocked out, which uh, supplies all of the power to LA County or most of the power to LA County if this uh, were to uh, have any issues. Within a PAR-5, it's uh, got a freeway that is the main corridor going to the high desert. It's got a railroad. It's got a, a reservoir, which is a drinking water for the high desert in about a third of my district. It's got high voltage power transmission lines going overhead. So if the, if the facility catches on fire, those will be knocked out. Uh, and it's got a bright line west plan nearby, a new uh, uh, rail, rail line as well as California's high speed rail right by this best facility in LA County. And in the end, the community had no input they had no voice, the government was running with scissors, and the LA County uh, officials were able to uh, uh, put this uh, best facility in a location that frankly is probably the absolute worst location that they could have chosen. So again, I wanna thank the chairman for this good bill overall. Uh, it does a lot of amazing things, uh, and I especially uh, wanna make sure that I, that, uh, I wanna reiterate that uh, these battery storage facilities are good, they're necessary, but they need to be done right, and we can't be cutting corners on these very uh, unique uh, technologies. And I urge my, urge my colleagues to support the overline bill. Thank you. I yield back.